Get better flux core welds in a matter of seconds, and for most, it can be as simple as taking off the nozzle. The biggest issue that most beginners have is when you're welding, the nozzle gets in the way and you can't even see your weld. So, take it off, throw it away, I'm serious, just get rid of it. Okay, well, no, not really. There are a couple situations where you won't want to keep it. If you're MIG welding with gas, the gas travels through the tank, through a solenoid valve, through the sheathing, yes, there's a little hose in that, through the gun, and yes, then out these holes. So if you did not have a nozzle there, as you can see with the holes, the gas would just go out everywhere. The nozzle directs it in over the weld, which is a must when MIG welding. Now, even though we're mostly talking about flux core welding, something you can help out a little bit with MIG welding is you can actually get extra long contact tips but you don't want it sticking out too far because like I said, you do need that gas coverage over the weld. But let's say you have a MIG welder and are running flux core. Nothing wrong with that. I'd actually dare say a majority of people start out that way because MIG welding is more of an investment. I mean, gas bottles are expensive now. So nothing wrong with flux core welding. What you're gonna wanna do though is switch that nozzle from a MIG nozzle to, got someone with me. For a flux core nozzle, this is a specialty nozzle made for flux core, thus a flux core nozzle. Its really only purpose in life is to protect the uh, the gas holes from the spatter balls. Gas holes from the spatter balls. If your MIG gun didn't come with one, check the description below. I'll add some. The only thing you got to watch out for is what I've seen. Uh, MIG guns come with either a threaded uh, type connection or it's kind of got this little spring type uh, connection to hold it on. So um, they sell some with threads and some without. Just make sure you get one that would match your MIG gun. Now I haven't tested every single brand. So I mean, I will put the dimensions of that diameter in the description. So just check yours before you buy them. Let's say you picked up a machine, there's no gas hookup, you can't change the polarity. In short, you've got a flux core only machine. Now, depending on the brand, you may even have a true flux core gun as well. In other words, there's no holes right here to even modify the machine to hook up gas. Even though those machines really could go without, I think just for aesthetics, more and more are adding a flux core nozzle. You know, titaniums, Lincolns, have them. But if your machine did come with a MIG nozzle, yes, throw it out. You're not going to need it. Well, okay. You can throw it in your stockpile and then, you know, have them sitting there forever until you do toss them. And then you'll probably need it the next day. Take a look at how much easier it is to see without the nozzle, especially doing fillet welds or when you're backed in a corner. So just to recap, MIG welding, you're gonna need the nozzle. Flux core welding with a MIG machine? Well, get a flux core nozzle. Flux core only, go without. I've said it before many times, these are my two favorite game changers for flux core welding. It's anti-spatter spray and nozzle gel. Check out this weld. It's a great weld, but there is a ton of spatter. Now, if I were to have sprayed that piece prior to welding, all of those BBs would have been brushed right off. On the other end, you'll start seeing it pile up on the contact tip. All you need to do is dip it in your nozzle gel every once in a while, take a wire brush, and it brushes right off. I wish I would have found out about these two when I started out welding. Now, someone did make a comment that, hey, can't you just take the anti-spatter spray and spray the nozzle or tip? Yes, you can, very easily. But if you take note, as you're spraying, you're kind of only getting one side and or if you're going down, you're, you're getting your gloves and the gun. So, you know, if that doesn't bother you, great. Yes, you can just get away with the anti-spatter spray. If not, pick up some nozzle gel. It's cheap and effective. That's all I got. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.